Hi all, welcome to my channel. This video is about AWS Machine Learning Specialty exam. I recently completed the certification. So I'm going to share my experiences in preparing for the exam. I will also talk about the topics from where I got questions in the actual exam, which will be very useful to you. And during this video, I will mention about a few useful links. I'll be providing all those useful links in my video description. If you have watched my other videos about other AWS certifications, you will see that I have followed a very similar process in preparations. So we, the videos will look similar or similar pattern actually, but it is only because the preparation methodology is similar. As I had suggested in my earlier videos, this time also I followed the practice test driven learning. So what it means is you spend very limited time in the beginning to get yourself familiarized with the exam topics. And after that, you start giving practice tests. Try to give at least two full length tests, but also try to give some mini tests with 10 questions, 15 questions, etc. Maybe maximum six practice tests. And after each practice test, analyze the wrong answers. And if you have time, you should analyze the right answers also. I'll tell you why. Analyze the wrong answers and build your notes. Prepare a Word document and add all your learnings into that word document in a bullet point format which only you may be able to understand others if they go through they may not be able to understand by the end of your preparations after five to six practice tests you should have a, approximately a 20 page notes with you and after those practice tests before the actual exam you just need to go through that notes that is more than enough for clearing the exam if you are not familiar with the exam topics at all maybe you need to spend more time going through the document I'm talking about the initial familiarizing yourself with the exam topics part. If you are completely new to this, maybe you will end up spending more time going through the documents and slides. But don't try to spend two to three months in just going through the documents and slides and then try to mug up everything, try to learn everything. That is not possible. Our brain is limited in size, right? It is not a S3 bucket, which is practically unlimited storage. And when you analyze the wrong answers, if you need to get more information about a particular topic or particular subtopic, then you can refer to the FAQs, the documentation, etc. That will be more useful than trying to go through a 100 page FAQ document. And if you have time, you should go through the right answers, explanation of the right answers also, because many a times it may so happen that you chose an answer, but you were not 100% sure. You chose that answer and you were lucky that answer was correct, but it is always better to just go back and then look at your right answers also and look at the explanation. And you may get learnings from there as well, which you can add to your preparation notes. Our preparation should end with the official practice test, which is 20 questions. And if you are able to get something like 11, 12 out of 20, I know pass percentage is 75 percentage for this. I'm not saying you should wait for uh, 15 out of 20. Even if you get some 11, 12 out of 20, you should be able to clear the exam. That is my past experience. Okay, so now let me take you through my preparation steps and I will also provide you with the areas, specific topics from where I got questions in my exam. So let's begin. Now let's go through the various exam preparation steps one by one. So as I said, the first step is to get yourself familiarized with the exam topics. There are several training materials available, but you may actually start with the official training material. So where is the official training material? Let me show you that. You have to go to the certification page and you have to choose machine learning certification. I'll include these links in the video description. So you don't need to worry about finding it. And once you select certified machine learning speciality, if you come down you can see and if you are familiar with if you have taken many uh, tests before you i'm sure you are familiar with this particular page if you come down there is this exam guide which talks about the exam topics it just lists the topics and then you have the official practice set of 20 questions we will do it as the last item in the preparation steps but this is what i'm talking about exam readiness aws certified machine learning speciality so click on that i have already opened it here this is a video based learning prepared by aws and it gives sample questions and it touches upon all the topics you can see that here so this is one of those 
study materials which you can use for your initial preparation and he is a very good teacher in my view so you can go through his session and he also provides useful links sample questions how to solve the sample questions etc so you can do this now if you want other material apart from this official training material you can also go with maybe tutorials dojo's free training material again i will give you the link so here you can see exam study guides and many of you may be already familiar with this because he has been there for a long time and it is given topic wise and there are uh, sample questions as well so this is also a useful one if you want to go through it and apart from that if you want to go with some udemy courses there are multiple courses but this is one course which is good frank can and uh, uh, stephen marek but there are other useful courses as well you don't need to stick to this one but any of those you can take so first you have to get familiarize yourself with the topics don't spend much time i would say 2 to 3 days maximum okay because and don't try to remember everything as i said our brains are not as three storage it is not unlimited it is limited so whatever you read if you are able to get 25 to 30 percentage of it, of it that is fine enough then you go through the sample questions provided by aws so where are the sample questions provided by aws i will show you that here is the sample questions provided by aws there are some 10 sample questions this is different from the official practice test so try to go through these questions so after the initial preparation just try to go through these questions and see how much you are able to score and i will tell you i scored 3 out of 10 okay and uh, that was the worst performance in all my practice tests but within 2 weeks after that i was able to clear the exam that is there the answers and explanation is given at the end so that is very useful try to get the learnings from here and please note this one the question about recall uh, precision etc definitely you will get question anyway i'll talk about the questions which i got in my exam so this is about the official set of practice questions now after you go through the sample questions analyze the wrong answers and update your notes you should create notes in the first step itself and you should update the notes after analyzing the wrong answers and after that you can buy maybe a one set of practice tests from udemy or any other providers actually i had used two of them one from tutorial stojo it has one full length test plus two mini test and then i bought another one one from frank can he has one full length test and one mini test of 10 questions and i took all those five practice tests which was useful and now it is time for you to take the practice test one by one as i said at least five to six practice tests you should take and at least two of them should be full length tests the process is same you take the test one and analyze the wrong answers and update your notes and then go through your notes before you go to the next practice test after the next test also do the same thing analyze the wrong answers and update your notes and as i earlier suggested if you have the time go through the right answers as well very quickly to see if there are any learnings worth noting and definitely you will have yeah i just mentioned this before each practice test go through the notes and finally take the official practice test if you are able to get around 60% for your official practice question set you will be able to clear the final exam that is what i have experience in the past okay now let's talk about the practice test which is more important because i am advocating practice test driven learning right so i already showed you the official sample questions the 10 questions which is this and you can take this as the first test if you are able to get 5 out of 10 you are great i would say that and if you are getting 7 out of 10 you are a genius and you can right away go ahead and give the exam i think and i told you i got just 3 out of 10 so this is official practice test after that there are a couple of free tests available for example one is wiz labs it is free test okay try free test there are 15 questions um, and it is tough and most likely you will score the lowest in in this test because they actually go into unnecessary like detailed sort of questions but you can try to take that everything will give you some learning some or other learning but the final exam will not be asked of us this one then there is another free test from tutorials dojo they have free test for everything you may have already gone through this but they have free test for machine learning and all the other this is a machine learning one but they have free test for all the aws certifications and these free tests are mini tests like 10 questions or 15 questions and once you do that you can go ahead and buy a, a couple of practice tests which provides you full length practice test so these are the things which i used i'm not saying these are the best but i used it and i found it useful but there are many available so you, you are free to pick and choose let me go to the udemy site and here i have searched for machine learning practice test and you can see there are several one from abhishek singh then 
this is the tutorial dojo john bonso then this is frank can there are several of them available um, these are the two which i used for full length test these two and they were good they were comparable with your final exam and finally official practice test with 20 questions this udemy practice test have each of them have multiple tests for example tutorial dojo one full length plus two mini test and frank can one mini test plus one full length test now regarding my scores and i'm showing you my scores because many a times when people score less in the practice test they just lose interest they lose the motivation and they leave without giving the final exam that's why i'm showing this so the first one i scored a pathetic 30 percentage sample questions okay and then i moved on to frank and practice test one this is 10 questions i got 80 percent but it was very easy very simple okay that's why i scored 80 percentage and you can see that my score will come down after this then tutorials dojo practice test one again 10 questions i scored 80 percent again it was simple then you can see viz labs i gave the free test and i got just 60 percentage out of 15 i got nine questions correct then the bonus test of tutorial soldier which has 25 questions i scored 64 percentage then frank can full length practice test 65 questions i got 67 percentage and you can see that apart from these two i did not score pass marks in any of the other tests and these two were very simple then the seventh one tutorial dojo practice test 2 which is full length i scored 72 percentage which was closer to a pass percentage and then official practice test i got 14 out of 20 so 70 percentage i scored there so you can see that these were the only occasions where i scored pass marks and my final exam score was 88 percentage you can see that compared to any of the practice tests this was my highest score and that has been my experience with other certification exams as well so you should not worry if you are getting low scores in the practice test that is why i'm showing this now the strategy more than strategy i'm just trying to take you through what happened in my exam preparation or, or the exam day you can give yourself one month for preparation uh, two hours per day i was able to clear within 15 days because i have experience with other exam preparations and if you are eligible for that 30 minutes extra accommodation you should claim for that and look for keywords in the question i found that every question had this keyword which is very important cost effective or highly available durable frequently accessed or a less management overhead many questions had this less management overhead or solution with least effort these two keywords were there in the question so please look for that that will actually give you the clue about okay i should use the sport instance here or i should use a serverless solution here so those kind of clues it will give you if you look at the keywords and you may skip long seemingly difficult questions in first pass that is what i always do but it is up to you if i see a long question which fills my screen right i immediately skip i instead of spending time reading that because i want to complete the first pass as soon as possible and then come back and spend time on that and many a times these long questions may be simple it may not be difficult but i don't want to spend that much time in the first pass in my case only there were less than five questions were lengthy and 12 to 15 multi-answer questions were there in that maybe some three questions had three answers but these multi-answer questions it was not very tough that's what i i felt at least you will get out of three answers you will get two easily and the third one yeah you may struggle i after i completed my first pass i had 31 questions to handle out of that six were without answers and uh, 25 had answers selected but then i was not sure about them so i had flagged it and the first pass i completed in two hours so this is what happened in my exam and why am i saying this i'm not saying this because this is the ideal timings but i'm just giving this was my experience so that you can also consider these things while planning your strategy now key question areas from where all i got questions so data brew actually I, I would say i did not spend enough time reading about data brew how it functions etc but i got three plus questions so it, was, it is important so please ensure that you read through that data wrangler very important i think i saw that in more than five questions aws glue also had a number of questions so please ensure that aws glue glue data brew data wrangler all these topics are important you have to spend sufficient time on that one hot encoding related there were two to three questions then oversampling smart methodology two to three questions again important one you will get a lot of questions there imputing related how do we accurately impute what are the methodologies available so that you have to be thorough about that you will get more than 
one question there was a question about logarithmic transformation in which scenario it will be used then scatter plot regarding scatter plot how we can actually bring in four different data points in the scatter plot that was a question then in model training and execution there were question about sage maker canvas or fitting two to three questions were there then ground truth three to four questions on ground truth and mechanical torque etc then lasso regularization l1 regularization there was a question then f1 recall three to four questions okay be sure that you know how to calculate recall how to calculate precision and in which scenario you have to use recall in which scenario you have to use precision and what is f1 f1 score should increase or it should decrease for in improved quality all those points you should be aware about then record io proto buff there was question about that and hyperparameter tuning at least three questions were there regarding how to improve the effectiveness of hyperparameter tuning etc then transfer learning there was a question early stopping related there was a question then s3 cross region replication there was a straight question about that so if you have done solution architect associate exam etc you already know that particular topic then data sync there was a question AWS DMS a couple of questions then Apache Flink Kinesis Analytics a couple of questions were there then in algorithms random cut forest at least one question then PCA two to three question principal component analysis right you should be familiar to that then CNN object identification two to three questions deep AR for forecasting right at least one question was there then seek to seek at least two questions were there blazing text at least one question then collaborative filtering i guess a couple of questions were there ld and ntm one or two questions which are used in topic modeling or document classification etc ip insights related one question was there xg boost related one question was there then http live streaming related there was a question then emr appeared as a choice in many questions even though it was not the answer or at least i did not select emr as the answer because emr always you have to create the cluster right so many a times that will not be the correct answer because most of the time it is looking for serverless services or with least effort least management overhead etc comprehend there were a couple of questions then recognition two to three questions were there regarding lex transcribe translate poly at least two questions were there regarding personalize amazon personalize at least one question then kendra the enterprise search there was a question quick sight at least two questions were there redshift machine learning was also touched upon in one of the question and lookout there was one question sage maker debugger sage maker clarify sage maker model monitor two to three questions were there so please ensure that you are well aware of these topics and then production variance sage maker production variance whether you will have separate sage maker endpoints for separate solution versions or you will have the same endpoint with multiple production variants multiple variants question was something like that then pipe mode there was a question multi layer perceptron there was a question and regarding sage maker feature store there was a question this is all about how i prepared for my machine learning certification exam i wish you all the very best for the exam and once you complete the exam successfully if you can come back here and add a comment saying that how my video helped you in preparing for the exam i'll be very happy and thankful i'll come back with more useful videos in my channel please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already done that thank you bye